All right, hello once again, Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College, coming at you with a series of videos that are on form validation. The first example I did used HTML5 only, so I have decided to change the um, H1 tag that's in the front. So it now says form validation HTML5 only part one. First thing I'm going to do here is grab the form that I have and I'm going to do a file save as <clears throat> and I'm going to change I'll just call this index 2 probably not the greatest of names index 2 dot HTML all right so I now have that why am I doing that couple reasons first this will be change my title will change to JavaScript form validation and this will change to form validation JavaScript and I'll make that part two all right and let's see when I came in here the first thing I did was I removed <clears throat> everything except for the type, the name, and the ID. So really I don't need these max lengths anymore just because of the way that I did it. It's not that you couldn't put them in. All right. So I'm removing all of this stuff and I want to do this first. I'm sorry you have to watch me do it, but you know, I just, I'm trying to do this for completeness sake. And again, this will pay off, I believe at least, as we go on in here. All right? It's not, it shouldn't, shouldn't look any different when we get done. I don't believe it'll look a lick different, except the heading, of course, will be different because we changed it from part one and, you know, what we were doing to part two. I did not make birth date, favorite color, personal website or credit card number required fields all right just so you are aware of that all right so I'm going to save this and if I go back and I take a look this was uh, part one so that's part one what I want to bring up now is part two so that was HTML5 only forum validation this now when I run it says JavaScript form validation but you can see it looks the same there's the first one here's the second this is a little smaller so first one second one again I don't have the uh, pre-formatted text in there all right I could put it in it wouldn't hurt anything to put it in but I didn't all right so first thing I want to do when I come through on all of these is before this um, line break I want to put in here on each one of these a span and the ID will be reflective of what kind of a span it is so this will be SSN error Oops. with an asterisk all right, so I'm going to have to do a bunch of these now. Again, sorry, but you know what? I'm not. Oh, I, I guess I wasn't at the top here, so password. This will be confirm password. This will be birth date this I'm not validating so those are all okay Let me go back up here where I should have started to begin with but again SSN error 
It'll be F name error. That will be L name error. This will be address error. These are all going to be formatted the same when it comes to the, um, so the city error. When it comes to the CSS, but I'm giving them different numbers, so I'm able to do some programmatic manipulation with them. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. I really should have pushed that over. Again, I'm anal about this stuff, but I, I believe that there's one way of doing things, and that's what I consider to be the right way. And I have found through my own past that if I don't change something to make it correct while I'm doing it, it's very rare that I will go back and do it again later. put anything for the <clears throat> radio. Oh, I did. Okay. So I did make same thing for these. So let's do that. Shift there. That will be a contact via error. This will be an education error. These, I think, are done. I just got to move them over. There's password, confirm password, birth date, and I don't think I did anything more. In fact, I don't even think I had an error. I didn't check the birth date, so I'm just going to bring that one back up here. So when you look at it now, and I run it, now you can see I've got the asterisks. And something is screwed up here, so we'll have to fix that. I'm not going to worry about that right now, all right? But it looks like after the email, I forgot to turn something off or whatever, okay? sure exactly why His colorings would have been off like that but well I'll have to try to fix those in a little bit I'm already almost 10 minutes in so I want to start writing some JavaScript for you all right so let's do a file open and let's go to our JS and we'll go to our validate which is currently at least it's empty now this is a lot of JavaScript so what I will end up doing is probably breaking this up into more than one lecture in fact I'm sure I will all right I don't believe I had any anything that was global as far as constants but I did create some global variables so declare and initialize Oops. now what you are going to have to do hopefully we we know we we're not going to run into the same problem we ran into before I'm trying to have this stuff pushed over enough So first I had is valid, which is Boolean, and I set it equal to true. 
and it's a boolean form validation success flag. All right, and then I had var, and I call this regex, which is typically uh, short for regular expression. And my regular expression pattern that I'm going to use, I just set it equal to nothing right now. So it holds the current regular expression pattern. All right, var string, you'll, you'll see what that is, and I probably don't need that, but string to hold final valid results. All right. First thing I did was what I call alias the document dot get element by ID. function, which we oft times do. So var dollar sign equals function ID return document dot get element by ID ID. All right, so that's first thing. Let's see, what else do I have in here? Got all my validation functions. I think what I'm going to do next is this will be my main validation function driver. I'm going to put that in in just a couple minutes. All right, but I want to first come in here and I want to register the functions. This is one of the things that does change the way you do this with JavaScript versus jQuery. So this will say And that validate form is going to be the one right here. So when I click the validate button, that's what's going to be called. Okay. Right. And I want to make sure that when I start, my social security number has the focus. That's it for that stuff. Okay. Now, before I do my driver, which again, I am going to do, please believe me. I'll add a few of these back. But I'm going to add my function here. And this will um, clear out the inputted form values. This is pretty big. All right, there's probably a good, I don't know, 20 lines in here. Because I want to do this basically for every field that I have in here. So, <laughs> 
Sorry, I know this is not very exciting stuff, but I mean, as a programmer, this is stuff that has to be done, for lack of better words. <coughs> now, I've got my state value is equal to nothing. That doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I'm going to leave it in there anyway. We're getting there. That's already 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And there's probably at least that many left and probably more than that. So, Even do this. So I've got my password, and I want my confirm password. And again, I want to set the focus to my social security number. So as you can see, that was quite a long routine, okay? And I didn't even do it correctly because I want to clear them out. So I want to say here, var clear all equal function. All right, and the curly should go on the end here. Okay, these should all be tabbed. Okay, that fixes that. Let's fix this one as well, because this should say window dot dot on load equal function. And again, put this here. All right, so I've got those two things done, and I'm already at 20 minutes. 
So I think I'm going to end part one right here. So I created three global variables, is valid, a Boolean, which I set to true, my regular expression pattern, which I set to the empty string, and a string, which I'm setting to the empty string. I aliased my get element by ID function so I can use the dollar sign. I've got my area here for my main function driver. This is where I will, as it says, clear out all of my inputted values. And here's where I'm, I did my registration. That should be tabbed over as well. Now, again, just because, as mentioned, I'm a little anal about this stuff, what I like to do is, for lack of better words, yeah, I know I got to hit there. I like to come in here and put a little bit uh, of area in here so I can tell where something begins and ends. Again, that's just me. I'm not saying that it makes it better, but it makes it easier for me to see when something starts and ends. All right. So I've now got my, re my registering my functions. I've got my clear routine, and that should have it comment there. I've got my main function driver ready. I've done my aliasing. All right, and I've declared all my stuff. So when I come back in here in just a couple of minutes, I am coming back in here so I can put in var validate form equal function and that's where I will put that in and then underneath each one of those things that's in there all right I will make my calls to my individual validation functions so I'll be back with that in just a couple minutes with I guess part four